Hey everyone, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use an app um, called A Plus Spelling Test for students to take their spelling test on an iPad. Um, I had a teacher request this because she has a student who has an accommodation to be able to type their spelling words for their spelling test. Um, she actually has two students and only one computer, so um, this is a way to get multiple students to take the test at the same time. Um, she has a couple of iPads and she asked me to find an app that would do this. So this is what I found. Um, it's called A Plus Spelling Test. It looks like this and right now it's free in the App Store. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to open the app. Okay, that's the one that I made earlier. Let's get rid of it. Okay, so whenever you open it for the first time, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to hit the plus sign to make a new list. Okay, you can also import lists, but that is going to be a paid feature. Okay, so I'm going to add a new list, and I'm just going to call this week one. Okay, so now I want to add my words to this list. Okay, so first I'm going to type in my word. So let's say my first word is small. Okay, now I have to record my voice saying the word. Um, you can't just type in the words and then, you know, you call out the words um, when you're doing it with the rest of the class. You actually have to record your voice doing it. Um, so this means that the students would plug in headphones and they could take the test, but they can also take it at their own pace because they can go back and re-listen to words. Okay, so I'm going to hit record, small. Okay, and you can replay it. Um, mine's not going to let me replay it since I'm plugged into my computer so that you can see my iPad screen. Um, but you can also record like a whole sentence. Um, so you can say the word and then record you using that word in a sentence. Okay, so after I have my first word, I'm going to hit next. And now I'm going to add my second word. Okay, and this time I'm going to use a sentence with it so you can just see. Mean. She thought the boy was being mean on the playground. Okay, it has to be a short sentence because it will cut you off. Okay, so I'm gonna, I can replay if I want to and re record if I don't like the way it sounds or if it did cut me off. Okay, I'm gonna hit next and now I'm gonna add the next word. Chord clean. Okay, and you just keep adding words. Peak. Okay, and whenever you're done, you're going to click finish. And there is your week one words. Um, so now the student has the option down here at the bottom. Um, they can practice the words and it's gonna play the sound and they can re-listen to it again. Um, and when it plays the sound, they will type in their word. Um, they can also show the word and it will show it for a couple of seconds and then they can type it in. And this is just for them to practice. This is not for the test. Okay. Um, let's see. They can also unscramble. Okay, it will play the sound and then they can unscramble it. Um, they can ace it. It will ask them the word. I can't hear it. Let's see what word it is. Nope, I entered that. Okay, and it asks them to do it again until they get it right. Oh. Well, they can replay it, replay it, and um, keep practicing until they get it right. But this is not grading them. The thing that does grade them is this test option down here. Okay, so we'll play the word. I can't hear it, so I'm having to guess kind of blindly. Okay, now the next word, and they can replay it. Okay, and it tells me I got it incorrect. Let's see if this is the right word. 
Okay, and then my other word. Nope, I got it incorrect. Okay, and then it gives me a grade at the end. Okay, so I got 50% correct. It shows me the word and how I spelled it and if it was correct or incorrect. Um, and so you can grade it from here or you can actually email it to yourself. Um, and it will, you can put the kid's name right here. I'll put my name. Um, and then it's going to highlight in red and it's, it's going to give you just a printout so that you can keep for your records or it's going to send you an email. So you can keep for your records um, or print it out and send it home. Um, but this is just an option if you do have students that need to type their spelling words. Um, I think this is available on an iPod or iPhone, but I know for sure it is available on an iPad. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and thanks for watching.